We aren't big city people, and since New York City is the city, we weren't convinced we were gonna enjoy ourselves. Spoiler alert, we did. So what is the lure of the city? For me, I think it's the ingenuity. Or maybe the efficiency. It was certainly not all the people. All I know for sure is we ended up liking the city a lot more than we thought, and we're gonna take you with us. After leading Winnie in good hands in North Salem, we trained all the way to Grand Central Station where the hustle and bustle of New York greeted us. We are already lost. We finally found our way out of the station and were greeted with our first sights of the city. We have just arrived in the city. We have a couch to sleep on while we're here, so we're headed that away. But first, we gotta make some quick pit stops. Walking was our theme throughout our whole time in New York City. I think we walked over 40 miles for the whole five days we were there. We took a quick look at the Empire State Building and admired the Flatiron Building. I have never been to New York City before. We're just kind of playing it by ear. Lots of the classic touristy stuff for sure. We always travel on a budget, so many of the things in this video are very affordable or free, including this trip to Madison Square Gardens. Literally every patch of green is full of people, but only some of the lawns are open. So like this one is obviously closed because there's no one on it. They rotate them like when you graze cattle. Ben! Hi! How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Ben is our good buddy from college and he graciously let us stay with him and took us to get some street tacos first thing, which was an awesome idea. This was actually my first time in New York, which is really exciting. And Ben wanted to make sure we got the experience. So we went to the Riverwalk and eventually made it to Little Island in Manhattan, which was so unique and so crowded. There's so many people, oh my god. I don't think I will ever get used to that. We walked around there for a bit and I got very excited because... There's the Statue of Liberty, my first look, way out there. And then to my favorite part of the day where Ben took us to do the High Line. This is an old railway that they have turned into a pedestrian only walkway and it is full of these really cool apartments that I will never be able to afford. But it's really green and full of art and you should definitely go. We took the High Line all the way to the Vessel, which is this giant sculpture that you used to be able to go up in, but unfortunately too many people jumped off so you can't anymore. I'm sorry, that's not funny. And then the mall there has a lot of bougie shops that I also can't afford anything in. The city is so interesting because there's always something to look at. For example, this countdown for when climate change will destroy the world. We of course had to try some New York pizza while we were here, so we got this humongous slice for like $4.50 and I really enjoyed it. Here's the sleep setup, air mattress for me. Nick's got the fold out couch. We're good to go. And now we're on to day two. We started off this day by getting some New York bagels at a place that Ben recommended. And look at all of these cream cheese options they had. It was insane. Their coffee was really good. We're trying to see a Broadway show on a budget. There's this thing called the Broadway Lottery. It's tickets that didn't sell. And at certain times of the day, you can like put your name into the lottery. And so we just put our name in for Shucks. We'll also put our name in probably for Aladdin and Lion King as well. Hopefully we get one. Yeah, we didn't get those, but we did get our bagels. I got a cinnamon bagel with espresso cream cheese, and Nick got an everything with apple cinnamon cream cheese, and they were so good, guys. New York bagels are different. Take it from me. Now, as I said, we are not city people, so the idea of the subway really scared us. I don't know what's going on. We already swiped into the wrong side and had to go back out and wasted like $6. But once we figured out how it worked, it was easy peasy. Now that being said, we have been on a lot of public transit on this trip and the New York subway system is the best by far. Just trust me. Success! On our way to the free Staten Island Ferry. We're just gonna ride it to Staten Island and then ride it right back. <laughs> on our way to the ferry, we passed the Wall Street Bull and we had to get a picture front and back of course we continued our journey and finally found the ferry the ferry is completely free it runs every 20 to 30 minutes and is a great way to kill a couple hours there's like no one on here you heard it here mondays at 9 30 get on the free staten island ferry 
you definitely get some good views of the Statue of Liberty, but my favorite was the view of the skyline. The city just goes on forever. Dude, you can sit outside. We didn't know that. Yeah, so make sure you go outside for the best views. The ferry was a great way to start the day. Now we're headed to Freedom Tower and the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. We heard it's like one of the best things to do in New York. We also heard that we would cry. I'm ready to cry. On the way there, we passed by actual Wall Street and Trinity Church, which we decided to go inside because it was free. And then we continued our trek to Freedom Tower. It is the tallest building in Manhattan now, and you're greeted with the fountains, of course, and the fountains are surrounded by all of the names of the people who perished during 9-11. I couldn't record inside most of the museum, but just trust me when I say that it is totally worth a visit. Whether you're someone like me who's too young to remember the actual event, or someone who experienced it firsthand, I assure you, you will learn something here. Confirmed, you will cry at the 9-11 museum. Just a warning. We were starving at this point, so we walked to Chinatown, where we quite literally just walked into the first restaurant that we saw and ordered the whitest things that we possibly could on the menu. And this rejuvenated us, so we continued walking across the Brooklyn Bridge into the Dumbo neighborhood. Be prepared for lots of people and shops along the way. This is slightly terrifying, that's just like the water down there. Walking across the bridge was really cool because there was a pedestrian only section, you can see all the cars under me, and it takes you to the best views of the city in my opinion. We took a much needed break in this park and just kind of people watched for a little bit. And instead of walking back over the bridge, we decided to take the subway to Washington Square Park. The park was of course crowded and had some cool street performers, but it was even extra crowded because the NYU students were graduating this weekend and so everybody was taking pictures, so we didn't stay for very long. And it was finally time for some dinner. I have to see a New York rat before I leave here. So we're out walking to this burger place and I'm checking like every trash pile for these bad boys. I found them! It's a whole family. Look at him! This is exactly what I wanted. We ate at 7th Street Burger. It was so good. And we walked back home. Like I said, we had such an amazing time here in the city. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next installment of our New York adventures.